In 2013, young entrepreneur Andre Artishev started the development of a unique high-tech motorbike helmet with a built-in navigation system. In 2016, Andre released a new prototype of the device. Now it has the shape of a real helmet. Today, Andre receives a guest. It's Pete from Great Britain. As one of the first users, he is very much looking forward to the helmet's final release. I see some progress, some significant progress. Yes, we prepare a second generation prototype. This prototype, like, closer to the final product is uh, the helmet. The earlier prototype used overhead optics, and there was no way to certify such a system for safety reasons. So this is, this is why um, the, the new shape, because it's being projected from underneath. I invented a modular helmet, flip-up helmet. It will be useful uh, because you can uh, up your chin pad and uh, discuss with people, drink some water or smoke. By the time of mass production launch, the shape of the helmet will change. It will use compact, space-effective optics allowing it to correspond to the weight and size of a traditional motorbike helmet. Unlike other solutions based on micro displays and prism displays, this helmet uses projection technology. It allows the rider to see a high quality, bright picture without having to refocus or look aside. It is critical for bikers who usually move at high speed. Think about it. When you're riding, are your eyes focused on a point one inch from your face or 100 yards away? By making the projected image appear as if it's floating way out in front of you, you can see it without changing the focal distance of your eyes. So I can see the view and it is, uh, it's very sharp, it's very clear, it's in colour. The picture is transparent. I would say that the focal distance is, it's comfortably far away. I'm not, I don't need to change my focus so I, don't, I can look straight through it. It's very good. It is planned to embed a video camera in the helmet to record all the ongoing events on the road. It will free bikers from using an additional GoPro camera as a helmet cam. It will be a 4K camera resolution, 50 FPS and 60 FPS for Full HD resolution. The final version of the device will be presented at the 2017 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas or at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Sales will start in Russia and the United States six months after the presentation. And uh, after USA will start shipments in uh, Australia, England, France, Spain, Italy, Germany and also Japan and Taiwan. The helmet will cost about 2,000 US dollars. The device can be pre-ordered today, including a $500 discount. According to Andre, his team is open to the possibility of cooperation with new partners and investors. 